What's up, Tailgaters? You're in the booth with Tailgate Nate today. Welcome to my channel. Week 6 predictions continuing today when we talk about another big one for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Third consecutive week we're talking about this team. They're going to go on the road and face yet another undefeated team in the Louisville Cardinals here in Louisville, Kentucky. Should be a very, very fun one to watch. The Irish and the Cardinals. Should be a fun one to watch here. But before we dive into this matchup, hey, got to tell you guys, got to take care of some business. I appreciate all the love and support the channel has seen over the past three to four months, two to three months, however long it's been. It's been crazy. Continue to show your support. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you know when videos get uploaded. But there are more ways than that to help me support this channel, this college football season. You guys are already doing one of them right now just by watching the video. And you guys gladly, if you're willing and able to, do more by liking, commenting, sharing, and anything else you guys are willing and are able to do, again, to help me support this channel. But enough about me, enough about the business out of the way. I just want to say I appreciate all your guys' support. Let's dive into this preview prediction video. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Whew, it was a heartbreaking loss to the Ohio State Buckeyes there in Notre Dame Stadium in week four. And then week five, you come out in a very similar situation there. But instead, it's Notre Dame and Sam Hartman needing to put together the final drive. And Sam Hartman's able to do it. Meanwhile, you look over at the Louisville Cardinals. Their resume might not be super impressive. However, they do have four power five wins. And last week, going on the road and pulling a win out of the fire there in Raleigh against NC State. They have been very, very impressive so far throughout this point. It's why they got into the the top 25 poll leads me now here if my slide would change into the stats that both of these teams have put up so far this year we are going to start with the road team that is the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and you know what they are playing like a top 10 team right now I've had them in my top 10 for a very very long time now I did not even drop them out of my top 10 when they lost to Ohio State you want to know why because they played for 58 minutes they played really really well and then Ohio State just played better for that minute and 26, but this Notre Dame offense led by Sam Hartman is humming. Sam Hartman has 1,458 yards, 14 touchdowns, still has not thrown an interception yet this season on 66% completion percentage. He's got a lot of nice weapons here. And how about Mitchell Evans really stepping up? Uh, again, you lost Michael Mayer this last year, and Mitchell Evans has, in my opinion, been the most impressive receiver for this Notre Dame team so far this year. But you've got many other weapons there. Of course, this bulk of running backs, starting out with Audric Estime, 95 carries, 672 yards, 7.1 yards per carry on the season with seven rushing touchdowns. It's a Notre Dame offensive line that does not allow a whole lot of pressure. against Sam Hartman has not thrown a pick. Notre Dame only has two fumbles throughout the entire season. That's the only two turnovers. They're a really, really solid team on third down, converting over 45% of their third down opportunities. It's a Notre Dame offense that is just clicking on all cylinders, and it's a Notre Dame defense that is not really giving up a whole lot of anything, really, uh, and they're being able to force pressure back to the quarterbacks. They have nine sacks so far, about a, a sack and a half per contest. Seven turnovers of, is what they've forced so far this year. Maybe the third down defense could be a little bit better, but that number may be a little inflated considering uh, the, the, the two teams that you have played this past week in Ohio State and Duke. Both of them have absolute dudes at quarterback there in Kyle McCord, who really proved himself in that game against Notre Dame, and in Riley Leonard as well. Uh, we hope Riley Leonard can get back on the field. Anyway, going off on a tangent here, this Notre Dame defense very well could be one of the best defenses in the country when it's all said and done. 13 points per game is all they are allowing. 271 yards per game, that's all they are allowing. Uh, they are looking really, really good defensively, led by that absolute unit of a linebacking core with Bertrand, Kaiser, and Luafau. Uh, the, the defensive line has really started to play well. This is a bend, but don't break secondary. Uh, well, not even a bend, but don't break. This is just a don't really bend a lot, and we won't have to break secondary. Led by Benjamin Morris in a sophomore corner. Really, really good, and there's a lot of other great, talented, uh, experienced players on the defensive end for the Notre, or excuse me, in the defensive back room from the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Well, there are a lot of experienced, there are a lot of experienced players defensively for Notre Dame. Period. But they are going to have their hands full now. When you have to go against the Louisville offense led by Jack Plummer, uh, that well, you he gets an 
his familiar system here with Jeff Brom. He's played really, really well. 1,406 yards and 11 touchdowns on 65% completion percentage. The one thing that you'd like to see improve with Jack Plummer's game so far this year, he has thrown six picks, which is six of the seven turnovers that Louisville has so far on the season. So cut back on those numbers there. Uh, and uh, again, this is a Louisville offense that's definitely going to get a whole lot more opportunities. You cannot turn the football over against this Notre Dame defense because Sam Hartman and the offense will make you pay. So but when we take a look at other parts of this offense, just talked about it. Jack Plummer has got a really, really good group of wide receivers. It's led by Jamari Thrash, believe a former Georgia State transfer, 444 yards on only 22 catches and five touchdowns for him so far on the season. A lot of other weapons that he has there, but he also has a really good running back room behind him. They're rushing for almost 200 yards per game. Jawar Jordan is really, really good. One of the best running backs in the country so far this year, 510 yards, 7.7 .7 yards per carry, six touchdowns. Isaac Arendo is a former Wisconsin uh, running back. He's back there as well. Jack Plummer has shown it here and there with the legs as well, but it's an offense that is really humming, really being able to do a lot of great things. Defensively, though, for this Louisville Cardinal team, again, they're going to have their hands full with what Sam Hartman and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish are able to do. They are allowing only 327.8 yards per game, 17.2 points per game, and they're generating pressure to the quarterback still. Nine sacks, that's 1.8 sacks per game. Not as much as they were we're generating last year, but still generating some pretty solid pressure. Uh, again, it's going to have to show up in a big way in this one, and their defense is taking the football away really, really well. Five picks, four fumbles uh, here on the year, and in fact, every fumble that they forced, uh, they've end up they've ended up recovering there as well. So four forced fumbles. Four fumbles re recover. That's 100% fumble recovery ratio. That's a stat. Look it up somewhere. Um, third down defense has been really, really solid as well but again this is by far going to be the best offense that louisville has faced all year long it leads me into my keys for the game what to watch for whatever you want to call it just some things i think that you guys should keep an eye on or keep in mind while you are watching this game and we're going to talk about the road team first notre dame if this game is close does sam hartman have more heroics in him we saw it in this last game here against duke right that fourth and 16 where the, the the duke secondary had a really really good coverage on every notre dame wide receiver there down the stretch and well uh quite frankly uh when you look at it here guys the he, he is Sam Hartman just played really, really well there down the stretch kind of did what Kyle McCord did against his defense uh against the Duke defense there just kind of put the team on his back on the fourth and 16 Duke coverage doing a really nice job there down the field. Sam Hartman decides to tuck it and run gets the first down. Of course, the very next play, Audric Estime is able to run it into the end zone. I think Sam Hartman is going to have a very, very good game here uh, against a Louisville defense that doesn't provide a whole lot of pressure, at least compared to what they provide last year. We're going to talk more about that later. But Sam Hartman, I think, is going to continue his very, very successful campaign. But you have to let Audric Estime and the run and this offensive line control the pace. And not only that, but set the tone as well. Audric, Audric Estime has been running really, really well for Notre Dame all season long. Uh, and again, you have a slew of... Uh, other backs in this room that are capable of doing damage to this Louisville defense. Let the run game, let the offensive line set the pace. It's only going to open things up a lot more for Sam Hartman to do what he needs to do. Of course, the six-year vet, former Wake Forest, Demon Deacon, and the defense is going to continue its stout play. I really have no quarrels about this defense at, at all. Uh, the defensive line is really starting to create pressure. In my opinion, this is one of the best linebacking units in the country, and it's a secondary that is starting to really hone in and be a lot more aggressive in the way that they're playing, which leads me into my keys for the Louisville Cardinals because Plummer is going to have his hands full, especially against the secondary as talented as what we see with the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Jack Plummer has to keep control of the ball. He cannot throw into traffic. He cannot make any stupid mistakes. You have to hold on to the football. Every possession is going to be very, very valuable when you play this Notre Dame team, not only because of what Notre Dame's offense is capable of, but what this Irish defense is capable of as well. No turnovers can, really, you just can't turn the football over, period, end of story. Uh, and that goes for Plummer, that goes for Jawar Jordan, that goes for these wide receivers, that goes for anyone on the offensive end, 
hold on to the football. Every possession is valuable. The pass rush, again, that was so big last year, has had its moments this year, but again, just hasn't really been as big as it was last year. It needs to show up here big time. This is one of, if not the best offensive line in the entire country, uh, and Sam Hartman's only been sacked six times so far this year. Notre Dame's only averaging a one sack allowed per game. This is a Louisville team that's going to need to get Sam Hartman's jersey dirty and going to need to get him on the ground and this Louisville defense nine turnovers so far on the year five picks four fumbles you have to continue to force takeaways you have to create extra possessions for your offense just because of how good this Notre Dame defense is and how well they have played so far throughout this season uh, don't know why that changed so fast but when I take a look here at this game right here, we'll, we'll back up there for a second. When I take a look at, at, at this game, I definitely am still favoring the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, and I believe that this Louisville team may just be a little bit farther away than what they need to be here in order to compete with the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. I got the Irish winning this one fairly comfortably. I believe their secondary will do enough to slow down Jack Plummer. They're going to be able to force some takeaways, and of course, Sam Hartman, Audrick Estman, and the offense are going to do their thing. 30-21 to 21 is my final score prediction. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Primetime game on ABC should be a lot of fun. Hey, remember to play hard, but tailgate harder. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.